Welcome to Jean's Sandwiches. What can I get started for you? I'll have a salami and Swiss on six inch white with all the fixins, please. Coming right up. What are you doing? What's wrong? I know you're new here, but we are not doing any charity work here, okay? I'm just trying to follow orders. It says, uh, put the meat on the scale until it reaches three ounces. So... You have to read between the lines. I'll show you. There. Three ounces. I don't think we're supposed to do that. Who made the rule? Uh, well, you did, sir. So then what I say goes. Got it? Yep. 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 Good. I'm trying out some new policies to improve my margins and increase my profits. So there's gonna be a few more changes coming soon. Be prepared. Stop, stop, stop! You are still doing it wrong. That's way too much cheese. I'm just trying to follow orders that says four slices of cheese per sandwich, so... Exactly! Watch and learn. Okay. There. Four slices. That's... I mean, that's cutting corners. Literally. I am here to make a profit. Not to be a moral philosopher. Uh -huh. You wanted everything, right? Yes, please. <laughs> Yikes. Robert! Uh, yeah? What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, I meant to throw this away this morning. No, I... that's perfectly good bread you're wasting. I thought we only serve fresh bread here. We are. Can't you read? It's Monday. Well, right, these were made last Friday, so. You're only supposed to count business days, not Saturday and Sunday. Uh, sir, I, I don't think that bread waits weekends to go stale. We do. Is there a problem? Uh, no, sir. Um, it's just that this feels wrong, you know? Like, like we're taking shortcuts. Hmm. Let me ask you something, Robert. Have you ever run your own business before? Well, no, but it's always been my dream, you know? To, to, to have my own store, like my dad, who, uh, Actually, he used to own a place a lot like this. Is that so? Yeah. I used to work for him, too. He would always say, there's no cutting corners on the way to success. <laughs> ah. At least that's the business philosophy he tried to instill in me. So if he's so smart, why aren't you working for him? Well, he uh, actually had to close down his shop after... <laughs> <laughs> So, you take advice from him and his business failed? You just proved my point. Let me tell you something, Robert. The more you cut corners, the more you profit. Remember that. But is it really the right thing to do? Who cares about right and wrong? You want right and wrong, listen to a priest. You want to know how to run a successful business, listen to me. Today's lesson, use Friday's bread. What if, what if the customers find out? Just toss it in a toaster for a few seconds. They won't know the difference. Back to work. Welcome to Jean Sandwiches. What can I get started for you? Uh, could I have one of those? Sure thing. Here you go, and have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. How's everything going? Um, good. Following my rules to a T, I hope. <gasps> Oh, come on! Uh, I'm so sorry. It, it's totally fine. I'll, I'll clean it up. Thanks. I really don't know how that happened. I, I'm such a klutz. You know, 
Can I get a refill on the drink? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely not. Here. Clean it up. Okay, no problem. Why would you offer a new drink? What? Well, I mean, that's our company policy, right? Free refills? Not anymore. Since when? Since now. Three dollars? That's, that's more than the drink. Inflation. Soda ain't cheap. We can't just keep giving refill after refill, especially in these situations. I don't think that she did that on purpose. It was clearly an accident. Did you forget about what we talked about today? I gotta get that. Make sure you collect $3 or no soda. There you go. I'm sorry about that again. Don't worry about it. Happens all the time. <laughs> I appreciate it. So can I still get that refill? Uh, I hate to tell you this, but uh, we actually just changed our policy. It's, um, it's gonna be $3 if you want a refill. Oh. Yeah. Okay, um, well then, can I just get a water, I guess? Um, yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, I'll get you that refill. Don't worry about it. Really? Yeah. Wow, thanks. Um, okay, I'll just be sitting down. Sure. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy. How dare you? What? I saw you on the video camera while I was on the phone. You gave that customer a free refill. Look, it was clearly an accident, and I don't think that she should have to pay for it when you just changed the policy. Fine. I'll just take those three dollars from your tips. That's not fair. Let that be the lesson for you to do what I tell you to do. No more refills. But that made a lot of customers really happy, and if we keep cutting corners like this, then... I'm getting awfully sick of you constantly preaching to me! <laughs> if you want to make these customers happy, how about you do it at your dad's shop then, huh? Oh, yeah, you can't! Right, because his business shut down! That's really not very nice. I'm not here to be nice or make friends. I'm here to make money! So either you do as I say, or you're fired. How about that? Fine. You know what? I don't want to work in a place that's run like this anyway. Wow. So that's it, huh? Yeah. I'm done. Good. I'm better off without you. So maybe you can use this opportunity to open up your own shop. And with the way you run a business, you'll fail in no time, just like your dad. My dad's business didn't fail, okay? He had to take time off because he, he had health issues. But when he was open, he was actually really successful. Mm. Sure, kid. You'll close down faster than you can say pastrami on rye. And don't think that I'm not taking this. You're unbelievable. You know that? Robert decides to leave, determined to start his own shop. When he tells his dad about how Gene treated him, his dad decides to do what he should have done all along. He writes Robert a check for him to start his own business. Robert couldn't be more grateful. With the money his dad gave him, he doesn't have enough to open his own shop, but he does have enough to start a hot dog stand. Within a short time, Robert's dogs was officially open for business. In the beginning, everything seemed to be going great. He didn't cut corners and went above and beyond to take care of his customers. Even if that meant sometimes taking losses. What Robert didn't expect is how quickly bills began adding up. Running his own hot dog stand was more expensive than he thought. He soon realizes that he may not be able to stay in business for long. Eventually, he decides to give up. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, actually, would you mind adding some chili for me? Oh, of course. There. 
It's perfect. How much extra is it? Oh, don't worry about it. There's no extra charge for chili? No, it's, it's on the house. I've never had that experience before. Um, thanks. Have a great day. Well, well, well. What do you want, Gene? I heard you started your own car. How's the, uh, the new business going? It's, um, it's going fine. Thanks for your concern. Look, if you're not gonna buy anything, can you please hey, just- Robert. Sorry to bother you. I just came by to drop this off. Right. Um, right. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. Look, I don't mean to be pushy, but if you don't start paying your rent soon... I know. I know. Uh, I'm grab donut. It's going fine, huh? Shit, you about to shut down even sooner than I thought. It's just it's just taking me a little bit longer to get off the ground. That's that's all. Right. Hold on. I've been waiting for this moment. I told you so. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I had offered you your old position back, but unfortunately for you, that position has been taken by someone who actually understands how to follow orders. <laughs> Even if I was homeless, I would never go back to working for you. Ouch! <laughs> Wait, what is it that your dad would tell you again? Um, uh, oh, there's no cutting corners on the way to success. <laughs> How did that work out for you, huh? Look, can you please just leave, okay? Things are hard enough without you making them worse. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself, kid. It's, it's like they say. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You could just tell them that you were following in your dad's footsteps. <laughs> Sorry, is there anything else I can get for you? I just come back to say that that was the best hot dog I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we uh, locally source all our ingredients and it's 100% uh, real beef. I, um, I prepare it myself every day before work. Oh, I believe it. I mean, you can taste the quality. I didn't get a chance to introduce myself earlier. I'm a producer for the Food Lovers Network. What? I know this show. I, I used to watch it all the time with my dad. Oh, that's great. We have a new segment called Undiscovered Gems. If you'd be open to it, I'd love to feature you. Are you serious? Yeah, I, absolutely. Great. I'll be back tomorrow with my videographer and we'll start filming right away. And uh, thanks again for the free chili. Anytime. Robert's excited once again, hoping to find the lifeline he needed to help his business succeed. The next day, Jeremy comes back with his videographer and features Robert's amazing food. Robert goes into details as to how much effort he puts in to making the best quality product possible. When the interview airs, Robert and his dad couldn't be more excited. It's the exact kind of exposure Robert needed to really make his business boom. Within a short time, he had customers lined up excited to try the amazing food they saw on TV. Robert couldn't be any more happy. Amazing segment on the Food Network, by the way. I appreciate that. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hey. hey, how are you doing? I'll just have a hot dog with ketchup, please. Sure, coming right up. Thanks. Well, uh, hey, sorry, uh, uh, give me a moment. Hi, Gene. I'm uh, surprised to see you still here. Yeah, well, things have actually been on the up and up ever since my segment on the Food Network. Uh, is there something I can help you with? Yeah. I, I was wondering, do you think I can get the producer's contact to help you get on the show? 
I was wondering if maybe they want to do a story on my sandwich shop. Yeah, um, I, uh, I don't think so. I'd be careful if I were you. You know, not all news is good news, and, well, I've seen your two-star reviews, and frankly, I, uh, I wouldn't want that on television. I, I don't know what to do with those. Ever since I started changing my policy, um, business has been slow. Well, I, I try to warn you. There's no cutting corners on the way to success. M m maybe you're right. Well, if you ain't gonna give me the contact, do you think I could try one of these dogs? I wanna see what all the fuss is about. Well, sure. If you want one, you're gonna have to wait in line. <laughs> Do you know who I am? This is ridiculous. I don't wait in lines. Look, we're hiring if you need it. It's good seeing you too, Gene. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank How you. Doing? Welcome to Rapper's Dogs. We're gonna get for you. Hey, can I get a hot dog with onions, please? Sure. Hey, son. Wow. I'm so sorry. Can I can I get a moment? Yeah. I can't believe this is all you. I, yeah. I mean, what can I say? I, I had a great mentor. <laughs> you look well. Tell me about it. It was driving me crazy locked up in bed all day. <laughs> now that I'm up, who knows? Maybe I can work for you. Seems like you could use the help. I, uh, I've got a better idea. Here. What's this? It's a uh, thank you for helping me get the money together to start my own business. <laughs> you don't have to pay it back. I appreciate it though. Dad, it's not money. Just open it. Please. Okay. Jeez. So, we can start our own business together. Hmm? I still don't understand. Look, I know it broke your heart when you had to close down your store, so I talked to the landlord and they haven't leased out the property yet. So they agreed to rent it to me. Are you serious? I don't know what to say. I do. But you'll help me make hot dogs. Of course. <laughs> Oh, what? Dad wakes up from a 10 year coma. <laughs> it's not your best angle. <laughs> it's 2031. Oh no! Oh, oh, so the ending was shocking. I nailed it. <laughs>